Now in this activity, we're going to look at how we can use primary trigonometric ratios in order to find missing side lengths in right triangles. And if you remember back to the last activity, we were looking at this family of right triangles that um, were all similar. And in every case, we had a 37 degree angle in our right triangle. And we know that these are similar because this angle is, each one is uh, has a 90 degree angle. And because the sum of the angles in a right triangle is 180 degrees, we know that the angle that's not labeled is 53 degrees because 53 plus 37 plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees. So when we started to take a look at the primary trigonometric ratios, uh, we started to see a pattern. And we discovered that the ratio of the sides were always the same in the right triangle when the angle was the same. And what we mean by that is for the 37 degree angle, the tr primary trigonometric ratios were all identical. And it did not matter what, how long the sides are, as long as we were looking at the same angle, relative to the same angle. So as an example, if we look at this uh, 37 degree angle in the first triangle, then the tan ratio for the 37 degree angle is opposite over adjacent, which is 3 over 4. For the sine ratio, it's opposite, which is 3 over 5. So opposite over hypotenuse, which is 3 over 5. And for the cosine ratio, the adjacent is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5. Now when we looked at the same uh, ratios for the 37 degree angle in the larger triangle here, what we noticed was the opposite of the adjacent was 6 over 8, which reduces to 3 over 4. The sine ratio is 6 over 10, which in lowest terms is 3 over 5. And for cosine ratio, the uh, it's 8 over 10, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, which reduces to lowest terms as 4 over 5. Now, again, for the larger triangle, the 37 degree angle, the tan ratio we found was 9 over 12, which reduces to lowest terms, and lowest terms is 3 over 4. For the sine ratio, 9 over 15, which in lowest terms is 3 over 5. And the um, cosine ratio adjacent over hypotenuse is 12 over 15, which in lowest terms is 4 over 5. So this is what we found in the last activity. Now, if you notice, the tan ratio in every case for the 37 degree angle is 3 over 4. And we're going to be able to use our calculator in order to help us out to solve problems in trigonometry based on the fact that similar right triangles have identical sine, cosine, and tangent ratios. Now I'm going to use the Windows calculator here in order to demonstrate this. And so this is uh, something that you uh, should become familiar with on your computer or if you're using your own calculator you're going to have to learn how to use it for tests and exams etc. So first thing we're going to do is make sure that our our calculator is set on the degrees mode and that's very important otherwise you're not going to get the right answer on your calculator so read your if you're using your own calculator make sure you read the instructions and quite often there's a letter D that comes up when you have it set on degree mode. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in 37 and we're going to click on 10. And you'll notice the answer is 0 0.7535. And what I want you to notice here is that 3 over 4 is equal to 0 0.75, if you remember, because 3 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.75. Now, uh, the reason it's not coming out exactly when we do the tan uh, ratio is because we rounded when um, we were looking at this before. The actual angle measure is about 36.89, and when we do c calculate the tan there, it's much closer to 0 0.75. So this 37 degree angle has been rounded it's about 36.89 um, something so it's um, th the what the reason we're not at 0 0.75 is because of the rounded angle measure so now if we clear this and we're going to check out this the sine ratio this is 37 now we click sine and we get an answer that's very close to 0 0.6 and 3 over 5 
is a pro is equal to 0 decimal 6 and again for uh, 30 uh, 4 over 5 remember that 4 over 5 4, 4 divided by 5 is equal to 0 decimal 8 and if we put in uh, 37 and then click on cosine then it comes out to be an answer that's very close to 0 decimal 8 if you rounded this to one decimal place the answer is 0 decimal 8 so you when you learn how to use your calculator now the Windows calculator you put in the angle measure first then you click the trigonometric um, ratio you're looking for so tan or function that you're looking for so tan cosine or sine and some calculators you have to put in the cosine first and then 37 and then press equal so figure out how your calculator works and do it by using these values and make sure you get the right answer